Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Gamer Helper here. Welcome to a new Naruto video. I wanted to do my five top tips for this game to help newcomers and hopefully veteran players in case they didn't know any of these tips I'm about to say. And I wanted to help the newcomers who didn't know anything at all and they were coming into this game brand spanking new. Now, my first two, two tips are going to be in this section of this video. When you guys play online, which is basically base battle or combat battle, stay together. I cannot stress that enough. Is stay together with your team. Don't wander off. Don't go soloing. Don't go chasing up that, that 1v1 or that person who's low health and you want to get that kill. Unless you know that you and your, you're in the lead with your team, go do it. But other than that, stay with your team. It's very important to stay with your team. This is a team-based game. Your mistake that you could possibly make in the game can affect your teammate, especially in combat where if you die, you basically lose a point, lose a life for your team's lives. And you don't want that because you want to be able to make sure you guys all have all your lives saved up so just in case something bad happens and the enemy like turns the whole game around. There's a lot of times I've lost matches where we're winning and then it's just not there. We get cocky and then we start dying and everything. That's why you got to always stay strong morale. Stay with your teammates. Double team those enemies if you're with your team. And just destroy all of them before you go chase after that low health. Unless you know you can get that kill, go for it. But if you don't think you can get it and, you know, the enemies will always respond. Especially when they see their teammates getting attacked. They're going to go back them up. So make sure you always know you have your team with you or you're with your team before you go and possibly die and turn the tide of battle because this game there's a lot of turning the tides and you don't want to be responsible for that <laughs> now for my second tip is guys as you can see in this video if you guys don't have a healer on your team i recommend you play one or have your team you have your if you're playing in duos or even with two other friends have one of your friends heal or heal yourself Ah, healing is so beneficial to this game because it's a team-based game. We don't have the scrolls like they have in VR Masters, <clears throat> the VR missions, whatever, where the scrolls that heal you drop. This is online. There's no scrolls that heal you. The only healing you will get is if someone plays as a healer and heals you right then and there. What's more beneficial to that? When you're in a fight and you start losing and then you have, oh, look, a healer. It's really beneficial. I've seen so many people be an aggressive healer where they get kills and heal the team. Rather than everyone playing attacker and ninjutsu, I mean, attacker, ranged, or defense, you could have a healer that makes everyone to stay alive and help you overall win this match and the game. But yeah, that'll be my second tip. Now on for my third tip, guys. If you guys didn't know, once you guys go to Sakura and well. After you guys start getting everything, you know, clothes unlocked, uh, weapons unlocked, if you didn't know, you could actually see that clothes and certain accessories benefit you online multiplayer. Yes, they benefit you. So when you go to your clothes or let's say, for instance, your range, your weapons, if you click on the bottom and if you go to Y to switch view, now for PC and... um. PlayStation, I don't know what button it is, but as you can see on the bottom right how it says switch view, click whatever key or button that is and it'll show you the attack power, the range, the speed, and the hit rate. I didn't know that. I honestly thought it was just like switch view as in third person, first person type thing. So I didn't never press it. But now when you go to your clothes, it gives you benefits such as shorter respawn time, uh... Close range attacks that are more powerful, better booster ninjutsu, you know, recovery power, etc. It goes on. The only bad thing is a lot of these good skills that I've seen in here, they're on really kind of crappy clothes and I don't like that. I like having cool clothes, you know. Like for instance, I have the Kabuto um, robe on, and, but it's really beneficial. It helps me a lot and I want to do that because I want to be able to, you know, win games. I don't want to lose, but... Once I started knowing this and I changed all my clothes to boost my certain class, for instance, my range class, where I increased all my ninjutsu um, attack power, I've seen a difference. I've really seen a difference. 
some of these clothes rarely slightly make a difference but you know that difference is better than not knowing and not doing anything at all to boost your attack power for online so make sure you guys go to that switch view and look at all your clothes selections to see what benefits you now for my fourth tip guys this one's very important is you lose your VR masters every single one of them make sure you get every single VR master to five stars so you can unlock their abilities if you have a wide selection of abilities for all your classes you will be unstoppable maybe there's a certain you know ninjutsu you want such as um almighty push from pain and his planetary devastation freaking op right now I, I, I don't know what they're gonna do about that but say if you want that on your regular class you know instead of having to play pain himself now you could um be pain not be pain but have pain as your vr master and get him to five star where you can lock his ninjutsu and his ultimate so don't stop at the five star don't go all the way down because it takes forever to get them to basically 10 stars once you get five stars it starts all over and turns into gold stars so you don't you don't need to because there's nothing beneficial to that except for the scrolls and then the title which is not really important so if you want a wide variety of abilities start going from the top or bottom or even from your favorite character and start unlocking your characters your vr masters and completing them and making them you know getting them the five stars so you can unlock their ultimates and their abilities now for my fifth and final tip guys make sure you do this this is for to get a lot of xp in a short amount of time for instance 1500 xp for doing uh let's say less than 10 minute mission which is really good you know now for this one you're gonna pick a weapon the weapon you're gonna want to pick is a long sword it needs to be a long sword everyone should have a long sword unlocked on your regular defense class and once you do go talk to kakashi and you're gonna play this d rank mission which is called protect the gates or guard the gates protect the village gate you're gonna want to do this mission and it's real simple make sure you pick your defense class and what you're gonna want to do is just spam Y just that's it you will be able to complete this mission so fast it's really your weapons really strong and you'll be able to finish this mission and you'll be able to unlock 1500 XP just like that real quick you don't have the hassle of needing other people to rely on you to complete this mission because with this mission it'll help benefit you to level up very fast and you will know everyone wants to get to level 100 so why not do this mission and you'll be able to get to level 100 I'm pretty sure in a couple days by doing this mission all day and you don't have to worry about losing or anything and you know you get a nice 1500 XP plus bonus and etc from there depending how much you spammed why and that'll be it those are my five tips I hope that helped anybody such as uh, newcomers or veteran players and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like it, this video give it a thumbs up share it or even subscribe I would really appreciate it if you guys want to play too feel free to add me on Xbox which is Harmony thanks guys for watching